Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So today is a very special day because this is the nylon June, July issue, which includes, wait for it, a makeup spread by one of my favorite makeup artists and BFFs, Stephanie Struziri. So all of the images are inspired by different album covers and this was one of my favorite albums as a teen and I just freaking loved that makeup. So I decided to recreate this, live through this whole inspired look done by Stephanie Straziri for Nylon Magazine. So if you guys want to learn how to recreate this, keep watching and I'll teach you how. I'm gonna start off by spraying the Smashbox photo primer water all over the face. And also onto my beauty blender. So I definitely want that beauty blender to be extra damp because I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket foundation. This is a shade Warm 43 and this is definitely more of a matte foundation. Because the beauty blender was really nice and damp, it will make the foundation a little more sheer as well. Just a dot more coverage in the center of the face. I'm going to put the L9 Neutral Locket Cream Concealer underneath the eyes and on top. I'm just going to use the tip of my beauty blender to buff that in. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Free Base. This is a white eyeshadow primer base. Stab it on. I'm just going to blot it in with my finger, concentrating on the lid mostly, but making sure that once most of the product's patted into the lid that you're softly blending it up. For the eyes, I am going to be taking the Pastel Goth palette. You guys know that I have a rule on my channel to not use sold out palettes because then everyone gets sad about it. And this one is sold out, but if you didn't get it, you slept on it too long. So I'm gonna take Doom and Skull from the palette and just make a mixture of the two of them so I can create a baby blue, pretty much just half and half. So I'm gonna start by patting it onto the eyelid And if it gets a little too blue, you can just add a little more white over the top of it. And I'm just kind of patting that onto the lid with my Cosette 225 brush. I'm gonna flip the brush upside down and make sure that I'm really getting along the lash line as well. So you don't have that little gap of skin in there. So I'm gonna grab probably two thirds Doom and one third Skull just so it's a little bit darker. And I'm gonna use that with this Cosette 220 brush and buff that through the crease of the eye. Starting in the crease and then whatever's left on the brush just buff upwards. I'm gonna take Doom just by itself, the very tip of this brush, and start to build that a little bit in the crease just for a little definition. It's certainly been a minute since I've worn baby blue eyeshadow, but I'm kind of feeling it. I'm going to take this bigger Cosette fluffy brush, the 175, and Skull, and just start to blend the brow bone into the blend. Now that the color is done, I'm just going to take a little bit of tattoo liner and do a really fine line along the lashes. Next, I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs highlighter in blacker. I'm gonna line the waterline and underneath the lashes. Kat Von D shade and light eye brush and just smudge that underneath the eyes. And I'm just on one eye at a time because if you leave this on, it will set on one eye and it will be hard to blend. Before I go any further with the eyes, I'm going to do the cheeks. So I'm going to be taking Lolita 2 Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and then two pumps of the Everlasting Primer. And just mix those together so it creates a really pretty sheer blush. And then I'm just going to use that right on the apples of the cheeks and upwards to the cheekbones. Use your blue. Use your beauty blender. Use your beauty blender just to buff along the edges so it melds in with the skin. I'm gonna take this clean fluffy brush and kind of just remove the edges of the shadows right here. I just out of habit winged it out a little too much, but it's more of like a 90 shape, which was a little more 
round on the eyes. So just by using a clean brush, you can kind of just buff that away a little bit. All right, so for the teardrops, I'm going to take the Danessa Merrick's Color Fix in Black and this Makeup Atelier Liner Thinner. Tiny drop of the Color Fix into the liner thinner. Sorry, I can't show you better than that. It's just gonna roll off my hands. It's really liquidy. So once it gets to that perfect crying teary mix, go ahead and put it on the eyes. I'm actually gonna use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Brush instead for it because it's got a nice pointed edge. So I'm gonna take one tear down the center of the face. Another tear, a little bit outwards. And another one from the corner of the eye. Pop a little bit in the center of the eye, just right here. Just a tiny little tear right there. And then you can just kind of keep dabbing at it, adding little bits of black in different areas just so it looks like real tears remember it doesn't have to be perfect because they're tears just add a little more to underneath the waterline right here because that is where the tears are running and coming from just try not to do them completely symmetrical on the other side because they're meant to be natural if you want them to run down a little more just add a tiny little drop and it will follow that shape that you've done. Stop it if it goes too far with your beauty blender. Adding that little drop on the tear makes them look a little more real. So for the lips, Stephanie used Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Plath. Such a perfect brick red 90s grunge color. I'm just gonna take a little Smith 302 brush and instead of crisping up the edges. I'm just gonna kind of buff them in a little bit. Almost so it has more of like a cream lipstick effect. And then with the same brush, I'm going to take the Danessa Merrick's Color Fix Glaze and add gloss to the top. For the brows, I'm gonna add a little bit of Brow Rehab in Ash Brown. And then lastly, I'm going to pop a ton of mascara on. This is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Lash. I'm just gonna pop a ton on so it looks almost a little bit clumpy, just like when you've stopped crying. So if you guys liked my Stephanie Strazeri recreation, inspiration via the Nylon Magazine, if you haven't checked this out already, make sure to go and pick it up. It's the June, July Nylon issue with Debbie Harry on the cover. It's the music special. So I was just so proud and happy when I picked this up that I was like, I need this on my face right now. I just love the idea of baby blue and plath on the lips. Certainly not a look that I would always do, but I actually really love the baby blue on the eyes. So I might recreate this sometime minus the crying teary eye look. So make sure you go and pick up this nylon magazine and check out Stephanie's work if you haven't already, but I assume if you're here on this channel, then you absolutely know who Steffi is. She's an amazing artist and I'm just so proud of her. And if you have any ideas of any other album or musically inspired makeup looks for me to do, then comment below. Hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you again soon for my next video. Bye!